So can a non-U.S. citizen or resident own a cash value life insurance policy? We recently had this question, and it's come up a lot over the years. Uh, in particular, the question is, can one obtain a U.S.-based policy? Right. So, for example, we always mention the four major mutual companies. Can I get a policy with one of those companies if I'm not a U.S. citizen? Or if I don't reside in the U.S., maybe I'm a citizen, but I live somewhere else. And here's really what it comes down to. The answer is yes in most cases, but we do want to be aware of some things or the insurance company will ask some things before they issue a policy, is they want to see our type of citizenship, right? If I am a non-U.S. citizen, or do I have a visa, a green card, or what's my citizenship, how much time am I spending in the U.S.? Am I here on business and pleasure? Right, or just business? Am I here for a three-year stay and I've renewed it? They're going to ask for a lot of documentation. They want proof to see that we are in the U.S., we've been here for a while, or there's a good chance we will be. A lot of times it is possible to obtain a policy. However, we do want to be prepared to show this info. They're going to ask for a copy of these documents, this documentation. Now, the two items that are critical Let's say I'm a US, U.S. citizen, but I decided to move to, I don't know, Australia or something like that. Another country, and maybe I spend some time in the U.S., but I moved elsewhere. To obtain a U.S.-based policy, you will find that insurance companies have some requirements. They want to know how much time we're actually spending in the U.S., but there's two musts here at the end of the day. One... We must have a U.S. bank account. This is a means to actually fund the life insurance policy, meaning an insurance company based in the United States, right, a Mass Mutual Guardian, New York Life, usually will not accept dollars from an, of another currency. They want it converted to U.S. dollars first. We've actually tried that in the past we've spoke with the companies no it's got to come from a u.s bank account and then there has to be identification and this can be one of these guys over here usually it's a social security number or a taxpayer identification number for a business but those are the two musts i've got to have a social in a U.S. bank account in order to be to be able to obtain a U.S. based U.S. based policy. So in most cases, I can obtain it. However, if I'm a, a non-resident, if I'm here sometime and then I'm in another country, uh, half of the year, six months in the U.S., six months out, the company is going to want to know the reason why. What is the other country? Is that viewed as a high-risk country? Right, if there's a lot of disease or war, if it's an unsafe area by their standards, they're going to ask that. So if I am in the U.S. or if I want to obtain a cash value life insurance, practice IBC, whatever it may be, I can do it. I just want to be more prepared for what's going to be required during the medical underwriting process. One other thing that will always be required is if I'm taking out a U.S.-based policy, what happens with the medical underwriting? I've got to go through a medical exam. You are going to find that the insurance company will often require that the exam is completed in the states on U.S. grounds and also they want the application signed, whether it's signed with a, a wet signature or an electronic signature, all of that completed in the U.S. as well. So the exam is the one major item in the application that will actually require an individual to be in the U.S. at the time they actually apply for the policy.